Let's talk about counting calories and intermittent fasting. Now, just because you don't count calories with intermittent fasting, it doesn't mean that calories don't count. Calories absolutely do count. If you are currently in a place where you just don't really know even roughly how many calories are in various foods, it can help you to just kind of get a base knowledge, you know, just, just to kind of look at the back of a few of those ingredients that you use quite often uh, and just kind of get an idea of how, how many calories are in things. And in fact, really the main thing to learn is to understand how quickly calories add up. Now, the reason that's so important is because the number one thing that's gonna trip you up on the weight loss journey is you're gonna be going along and the scale is gonna stall out and you're gonna argue with it. And you're gonna think, you know, I'm doing everything right and the scale's being stubborn. But what's actually happening when the scale stalls out or even starts to trend back up, it just means that you're eating too much for your weight loss goals. If you will just understand that one basic premise, your life is gonna be so much easier on the weight loss journey. Now you might think, well, you know, what's wrong with counting calories? And there's really nothing wrong with it per se. Uh, it, it makes perfect sense from a scientific standpoint. And in places like metabolic chambers, I mean, they've got it down to the science. They can figure out exactly how many calories you're burning, exactly how many calories you're eating. And when they balance those things out, people lose weight very predictably. So what happens in the real world though? The real world is a lot more difficult because for several factors, one, you don't know how many calories you're burning every day. And you also don't really know how many calories you're eating. It's a guesstimate at best. Uh, the reason for that is that, you know, even if you do the, the hard thing, the hard thing in this case is weighing and measuring every single bite of food that you eat. So in other words, you know, if you're going to make a sandwich, you're going to take your little scale and measure everything out and weigh everything out. Even if you do that here in America, the FDA allows a 20% margin of error on calorie counts. Or if you're just eating things like cuts of meat, those can vary widely because they have you know varying levels of fat and fat adds up really quickly. But if you're like me, you just won't have the patience to do the weighing and measuring thing for very long, which means you'll switch over to the eyeballing method. And when you eyeball things, it's just inaccurate. You know, it's, it's so easy to uh, put you know, more mayonnaise than you mean to on a sandwich or to, you know, not really want to know how much mayonnaise you just put on that sandwich. And when something is a hassle you know, and weighing and measuring your food is a hassle and really even just trying to keep up with all the calories is a hassle. So yes, it, you know, for like a, a couple of days, just to kind of get a base knowledge of calories, I think that's a fine thing to do, but it's just that for the long term, having calorie counting be your strategy, it's just hard for a lot of people. Of course, if it works for you, go for it, but you don't have to do it. So the way I practice intermittent fasting is just to eat whatever I want. I don't have any kind of rules about, you know, being low carb or anything like that. I just eat the food that my family's eating and I do not count calories. I did count calories for a short period of time because I thought, you know, maybe that would help me lose weight faster. And what I found was, first of all, it drove me crazy. But second of all, it didn't even help me to lose weight faster. I think it was because I was just so stressed out with the whole process and it, it made me feel like I was being so restricted, which made everything feel so much more difficult and it felt like everything was taking so much longer than what it actually was because I was miserable. <laughs> But you may be wondering, well, if you aren't counting calories and you just eat whatever you want, then how do you know when you're actually eating the right amount of food? What I found was if I just paid attention to how full I felt after a meal and how full I felt just throughout the course of the next day during the fasting window, I was able to learn my own body and to, to learn what it felt like. Okay. You know, by watching the scale and seeing the scales going down and here's how I'm feeling throughout the day, I'm feeling good. You know, I, I have good energy, but at the same time, I do feel hungry by the time my, my eating window opens up at that point, I knew that, you know, that's when the weight goes down. So if I found myself feeling full all the time and you know, like the, the window's about to open and I still feel full, that was a key. That was like a cue to me that, okay, maybe you're eating a little bit too much 
in the eating window. And sure enough, the scale would usually stall out. So that's what I would just do. And I continued to do this in maintenance. I watched the scale and let it tell me if I'm eating the right amount of food. What I have found is that sometimes you might be feeling hungry more often, but it doesn't really mean that you need to eat more, that you're not eating enough, but it's really just stress disguising itself as hunger. And the best way I've found to deal with that, you know, it, it, sometimes there's something that you can do about a situation and sometimes there's just nothing you can do. Uh, but doing things like going for walks, uh, talking things out with my husband or, uh, you know, journaling all helped me to get my stress levels under control so that I was more able to tell, you know, am I actually hungry right now or is this just stress? But ultimately you'll learn over time with your own body and your own, you know, personality, you'll start to see, you know, am I actually hungry right now? Uh, you know, what is the scale doing? Is the scale doing what it, what I want it to do? And as long as it's doing what you want it to do, then you're eating the right amount of calories and it doesn't really matter how many you're eating. So do you have to count calories? No, you don't. Is it a good idea to know how many calories roughly are in things? Yes, but mainly because it's going to be so easy to deceive yourself into thinking that you're not really eating very many calories, even though you are. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to all the insiders out there. Insiders get access to the vlog that I do for this channel. And on the vlog, I talk about what's going on in my life and what I'm eating and just kind of what I'm doing in maintenance. I also do a weekly YouTube live Q and A with insiders and they get access to the discord server. If you'd like to become an insider, just click the join button below. Thanks.